dude, fishing sucks. Look at this, man. If, I, if only there was a way to like catch fish, but I didn't have to leave the couch, that would be awesome. Maybe there is. Oh, now you're talking, homie. Sega Bass Fishing, yeah. Dreamcast, Japanese yeah. style. Screw this, man. <laughs> Let's do that. Woo! Welcome back, guys. This is the Den Den Boys. Uh, I'm Vaughn. Garth. Uh, we're here in the games Damn. room uh, to do something a little bit different mm. this time. We want to sort of, we're not reviewing this. This isn't sort of a critique. This is sort of uh, reliving some of our favorite gaming memories. Co-op. Co title screen here. Gaming memory. Gaming memories. With the <laughs> I'll do some editing things. right there. Gaming memory. Uh, so, so the game uh, we're here to talk about is Get Bass. Get Bass. Um, and uh, it was released on the Sega Dreamcast uh, in 1999, and it's a port of the arcade game from 1997, mm. uh, which had a fishing rod on the arcade yeah. uh, cabinet. Um, Dreamcast, of course, beloved sort of last entry in the Sega console history. Um, and yeah, we wanted to talk about experiences with this yeah. uh, so what, the, the reason this is so special so let's talk about like first of all how did we get it like, yeah. even find out about all right so, like, so, so, so we st stumbled across this by accident uh, I mean, you've still got the sticker still got you the price that? yep 25 dollars cash converters the old the uh, maroon sort of logo yeah, yeah. so yeah so we were like long time game hunters uh in the retro video game sense browns planes cash converters probably in about sort of 2003 or 2004 early 2000s um, yeah we sort of stroll in this is up on the shelf 25 bucks so it's, it's a japanese copy so you get the rod you get the game um that rod has taken a beat uh, <laughs> how this thing is still holding together i have no idea we have um, it's, this it's, it's got our sort of grubby hands, um, yeah. improved, but look, it still performs. And, still, and oh, we put it, we put it through that. its, put it through its paces again last night. Um, yeah, so you get the rod, you get the game. Uh, but I mean, now, un unheard of. I mean, in, in Australia, Queensland, no. where we are, you know. Small one. A Japanese, Japanese mint copy, box yeah. copy of yeah. Get Bass. Like it's like, got, that's unheard of. How do you, yeah, you like never see that? No, like, it's got yeah. a PAL release here too, of course. They're, they're pretty pricey these days on, on uh, eBay. Uh, but yeah, we picked this up. I had a, a boot disc. Uh, um, I, I had a few Jap imports, so we could obviously it won't play on a PAL Dreamcast, but if you've got a boot disc or a Jap console, mm. away you go. Um, yeah. And it sort of really, this was before we, before the Wii had come out. Yeah, you know, here we are using controls the motion thing. controls. And it was like, I suppose it was a, a preview of that, how we blew up. Yeah. This rod and, and the fun <coughs> oh, that we've yeah. had holding oh, this yeah, rod. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Holding a rod, that's one of my favorite things to do in life. Um, but yeah, it, it, was, it was phenomenal. Like, it has, so for those who haven't played it, it has, it has a bit of a motion control in it. So you, yeah. you can actually just flick the rod. That, means, that was mind blowing in itself. Yeah. We were like, "What do you have to control it?" And then, and then, as you're reeling, it's sort of a, on the Ranking. screen. It shows you how to do it. So there's an up down motion yeah. for certain so you, you lures. Re, you reel and it you're in sort like of doing up and area. down, and that gives you the lure a bit of motion. Or you can go left and right. I was trying a bit of that last night because it said to do that. And that, if you're doing that, that the game kind of realizes you're doing it, and that attracts the fish more. That's like mm. the cue for the fish to go, "Oh, he's doing the rod the right way," and mm. then you'll snag a, a, a bass. You know? Yeah, and and I mean. Yeah, so so we, we we bought it by accident, um, stumbled across it, hadn't played it, uh, and it would yeah we took it back to the the games room for a big session yeah. a couple of games rooms ago, yeah, and uh, to our surprise it, it like blew us away like the the connection to the rod, the motion controls, yeah. the, the action, oh, fishing. Um, oh, and the, and the hecticness of like you know the competition mode of just re like you know yeah. times on the clock, yeah. you're reeling your heart out, you. So, um, yeah, the, the session that we had, I remember the first session we had, mm -hmm. we, we literally played this until 5 o'clock in yeah, the morning. We were yeah. up all night. The all, the all night session. We were try, there, was a, there was an unlockable, which was, uh, I'm pretty sure it was the unlockable, but it was the Sonic Lure. Mm -hmm. And you had to get the Sonic Lure, I think you had to win every day of the competition. So it was obviously, you can save in between competitions. Yeah. And I was up until 5 o'clock trying to get the Sonic Lure, yeah. which I 
succeeded in doing. Um, there was one little we never got, but um, that, that Sonic one was the one. Um, but yeah, it, it was just an amazing set. I think we've yeah. taken up all night playing yeah. a bass fishing game. Like a sound ridiculous. That's now. yeah. We hadn't played a fishing game at the time, um, but yeah, this is kind of the ultimate. And um, yeah, it just became a legendary Dreamcast sort of Super night. Big. And it was just we were just stoking, like so excited. Like yeah. it's hard to describe that sort of. And, and again, why it's a great memory is we, we do this quite often in a lot of games. Is we we'll, we'll just take a, a single player area. experience mm. and make it a co-op experience. Yeah. So even as of last night, like we. we one person takes it, yep, throws so in, like fish, has a fish for fish. smash the fish, bang. The other person will be the rod over. Your spot, turn. Yeah, spotting fish under the water, and it's it's a race against the clock. Yeah. So that's sort of where the sort of stress in the game. It became comes like a from real it. team game. Yeah, like we were yeah. just te teamwork in the boat. Yeah. Like, hey, maybe try this lure, try this technique. Yeah, change the I saw color. a fish over there. Go to yeah. that nook. Um, um, the, if the spot sort of dries up, then you just take the boat to another yeah, location. Yeah, on that little tip there. So um, I mean, gameplay wise, there's there's the competition. There's the arcade. There's the arcade mode. High score. Is, yeah, very arcade. But the one we like put so much time into was the competition mode. Yeah, where you create a sort of mode where it's stage it, progress. It sort of has a total of your the accumulated weight of your fish, and if you have the most weight, then you win that competition. Right. Yeah. And yeah. we were just trying to win every single game of the yeah. competition, yeah. and um, you know that, and the, and that the, has a timer. The, the game has so many sort of kitsch sound yeah, effects yeah. and voiceover. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's legendary, like the well, soundtrack. Well, a big uh, one. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's. Yeah. I don't know what they were thinking. Like, but it, it it just works within the game because yeah, it kind of adds that. that song in the video. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Pardon, pardon. Um, yeah, and, and another memory of this very box. So other than having the sticker, is we used to have this um, system of like. If we didn't, we you'd, you'd be catching the train home at like four in the morning, yeah, three yeah. in the morning, and, and we would have like a list of games. We're like, oh, dude, we haven't got all these games we want to play, and we would put them in. We'd scrum them on a piece of paper, we'd roll them up, we'd put them in the box, rattle them around in the box, and then like a lucky dip, we'd pull out a piece of paper, yeah. <laughs> and no matter what it was, whatever game. We pulled out. Yeah. That was the game we played we right until in. you know I had to had yeah. to leave for the sesh. But so ironically, yeah, this box uh, sort of <laughs> it's more than just holding this other purpose. But uh, yeah, it's hard to sort of put into words the the love oh, yeah. um, and the memories. And I mean, we're sort of saying we we really need uh, sort of conduct games. Yeah, this, this is hall, the Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. Den Den Boys Hall of Fame. Twenty. This should, be the list. this should be the name of the video. Mm. The Den Den Boys Hall of Fame. Yeah, this, is the, so. this is the Hall of yeah, Fame this game. Is the official inductee. First induct. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. The first inductee into the Den Den Boys yeah. Hall of Fame. Is Sega get, get bass, bass. Yeah, on the Sega Dreamcast. Um, and how wild is it, dude? I remember playing like the, the memories just came back like it was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So we had a big session on this last night, and it was we took us back 16 years, you know, to that that night. Because there's a there's a theory like as you're fishing, it wants you to like you know turn the rod to the left, turn the rod to the right, put the rod down. But we just ha came up with this system where you just hammer the spear, and then you can see there's an analog stick, and just by getting the analog stick, you're like just hammering the analog. It does, it kind of yeah, it takes nerfs, the te te tension off the line. Tension off the line, and then yeah. you go back to reeling, bang. And yeah. Like, you can, you can get a real sweat up playing this game. Yeah, like, yeah, because yeah, you, you, and there's that, there's the quiet times when you've cast it out and you just sort of gently, and then it goes to just violent times. Yeah, and then when, like, when it hooks you, like, yeah, ah! and you're like pumped, and there is that physical side. Yeah, especially when the clock's yeah. down, yeah. you've got yeah. to get this fish in the boat yeah. when the time runs out. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's epic the way. Um, yeah, a lot of stages, yeah. a lot of variety, yeah. you know. Catching the the monster fish and just yeah. really fishes. Yeah, oh, it's, it's got that beautiful, beautiful sort of Sega arcade quality about it. So we were playing it on using a Bahabro's Akura yeah, H cool. HDMI box to play it out on the on the modern sort of TV yeah. in this like 480 yeah, yeah. using the VGA sort of setting, which which this game supports. Good mint. Um, yeah, so it's great. It's played on a modern display, um, crisp yeah. as like you know, like you know, playing PS3 or you know, PS2 or something. Um, but yeah, so get, get bass. Um, there you go. Yeah. Hall of Fame, Den Den Boys, wow. Hall of Fame, get Not bass. Love this game. Love the memories. Love the love the cult. Mm. Memories of it. It's just yeah. so much fun. And just and holding the, my hand is just the, the ergonomics of it. It's just like you got the, tri the trigger sort of grip under there. And like there's there's other rods like PlayStation Two got rods, but you know this is the original and, and the best. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cool. So there you go, guys. Um, if you have any memories of playing Get Bass, 
I'm sure there's tons of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Comment. Yeah. Um, but other than that, yeah, thanks again for watching the videos, guys. We enjoy making them. So, yeah, keep, keep tuning in and uh, give us some likes and give us some shares. And, um, yeah, we'll see you for the next entry into the Hall of Fame. I wonder what the next one's going to be, dude. We'll have to think about it. Yeah. All right. Peace, guys. Peace.